Hello defense lovers, friends you have already heard the news regarding the regular induction of J-10C by the Pakistan Air Force. At your urging in this video, we will talk about the complete history of J-10 aircraft, all its variants in particular, the differences between J-10B and J-10C, as well as J-10C weapon systems and other features and acquisition of the Pakistan Air Force, will also be discussed. So, let's dig into it, and you are watching Defense 360. Due to changing warfare requirements and innovation in technology, all the aircraft manufacturers of the world have been upgrading their fighter aircraft in this regard. For example, the F-15, F-16 Eurofighter Typhoon, JF-17 Thunder and Gripen aircraft. The example of J-10 is noteworthy. It is worth mentioning. After watching this video, you will not only get an idea of how many advances have been made in J-10, but also you will be able to get a good idea of why Pakistan Air Force rejected its base version and why C version was purchased. What has changed in this aircraft so far? But one thing is very important here, and that is you have to watch the video from beginning to end. The J-10 is a multi-role single-engine fighter jet developed jointly by the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation and the 611 Institute. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force selected him as the next-generation fighter. This was to replace the obsolete J-7 and Q-5 aircraft in service. Its nose looks like a Su-27 with a rectangular air intake. The base version uses the AL-31F Russian engine. It uses a large vertical fin plus F-16 style vertical stabilizer, which gives it better stability during a high angle of attack. Its fuse lodge looks taller than the Israeli Lavi. Unlike the J-7E's double delta wing, the inverted gull wings or upper portions look a bit downward. The J-10 project was started in 1984 based on experiments with the J-9 tailless delta wing canard aircraft which was cancelled in 1980 in exchange for the J-7C project. J-10's early model used the Mirage 2000-style intake. Center shot cone was used for better high-speed performance. While there was a Labby-style tail section, it is said that J-10 has no connection with the Israeli cancel fighter project Labby. However, both the Chinese and the Israelis have denied it. The development of J-10 has not been smooth at all. A full-scale mock-up was created in 1991. The first prototype was planned to fly in 1996, powered by a local WS-10A turboffin engine. However, the development of this local engine was severely hampered by the need to redesign the aircraft's rear fuselage and engine intake to accommodate the AL-31FN, an alternative to the WS-10. Therefore, after a delay of 15 months, the first prototype was rolled out in June 1997. It took her first flight on March 23, 1998. Initially, a total of six prototypes were developed, and later three more were built to meet the aircraft's various static and flight tests and requirements as the project progressed. J-10 flight tests were completed in late 2003. The J-10 underwent a number of changes during its development over the past 18 years with a major redesign shifting it from an early conventional layout to an air superiority fighter and now a semi-stealth multi-role fighter. The reasons for these changes are that the aircraft may now face the US F-15 and F-18 instead of the former Soviet-era MiG-29 and Su-27. Advanced avionics has been used in the new design, including a glass cockpit, a wide-angle HUD, two monochrome, and a color multifunctional display, helmet-mounted system, ARW, 9101A radar warning receiver, Type 634 digital fly-by-wire system, digital fuel management system, mission management system, and detachable in-flight refueling probes. It uses the Type 1473 radar, which has a search range of 120 kilometers and can track four to six targets at a time and simultaneously engage two. The radar was based on the Israeli Altid M203, built for LAVI. Note that right now we are talking about the J-10 base version. It had the capability to fire a wide variety of newly developed air-to-air -air missiles. 
In addition to the PL-8 infrared guide short-range air-to-air -air missile and medium-range PL-12 active radar guided air-to-air -air missile. In addition to several air-to-ground weapons at a total of 11 hardpoints, KDC-01A forward-looking infrared laser designator pods can be carried. Later, the twin rail missile launch pylon was developed, which helped to increase the number of PL-12 medium-range air-to-air missiles from 2 to 4. The J-10A is powered by a 127-kilowatt Newton thrust Russian made AL-31FN turboffin engine, a modified version of the AL-31F used primarily in the Su-27 and J-11. Russia did not allow the local production of this engine in China, on which China powered the J-11 series with the local WS-10 engine. Some Western defense analysts see the J-10 as a serious challenge in the context of maneuverability against the F-18. The base version has a maximum takeoff weight of 18,600 kg, a top speed of Mach 2 at high altitude, and a speed of Mach 1.2 at sea level. It requires a distance of 400 meters for takeoff. Its combat range is 1,100 kilometers, and the service ceiling is 59,000 feet or 18,000. The base version of the J-10 was followed by the Aversion, with an amplified glass cockpit and upgraded fire control radar that could fire four PL-12 air-to-air missiles. Later, its dual-set variants J-10S, then J-10B and C were introduced, which we will talk about later. Note that the early J-10 version did not have the capability to fire the YJ-83 anti-ship cruise missile, also known as the C-802. All J-10 aircraft were upgraded to a version, while production continued until 2014, which was later switched to J-10B. All J-10A aircraft were equipped with PL-10 high off boresight air-to-air missiles, according to images released in September 2018. The J-10A was first promoted in the international market at the Singapore Air Show in February 2016. At this air show, the aircraft was introduced under the name FC-20. However, due to being a foreign engine in third generation, it did not get any significant response. The J-10S is an advanced trainer with a slightly stretched fuse lodge and a bubble canopy that can be opened as a single piece. This bubble canopy gives a 360-degree outside view to the pilot sitting on the rear seat. The J-10S appears to have a dorsal spine enlargement aimed at accommodating the electronics displaced by the second seat. The first flight of this version took place on December 26, 2003. Although the J-10S was developed as a trainer for J-10 pilots, it was speculated that it would be converted to an attack version or electronic warfare plus anti-radiation aircraft, however, it did not. The J-10S is currently being used to train J-10B and C pilots. In pictures released in April 2021, the J-10S has been transferred to the Flight Academy of the Chinese Air Force. The improved version of the J-10, the J-10B, took its first flight on December 23, 2008. It was powered by the Russian AL-31FN engine. Improvements made in this version include a bump addition in the divert less supersonic inlet, which not only reduced the weight but also reduced its radar cross-section. This type of design was previously tested in JF-17. In the B version, the installation of a locally manufactured infrared search and track system in front of the canopy, a wide in-flight refueling probe light was installed on the starboard side of the aircraft nozzle. Also, JF-17-style blast cockpit with wide-angle holographic heads-up display and three large, color multifunctional display. Thanks to the new IRST, the J-10B has the ability to detect enemy aircraft, which makes it relatively stealthier during combat. Version B features a new fire control radar, an X-band PESA radar, developed by the 607 Institute of China. This radar allows 10 targets to track and engage for at a time. This radar was the first Chinese radar of its kind to be developed for Chinese aircraft. Thanks to this radar, J-10B gained stronger multi-target engagement and electronic countermeasure capability. The B version was initially decided to be an ESA radar developed by the 14th Institute, but the radar was not ready at the time of production of the aircraft, which is why the radar described earlier was used in the B version. 
An electronic countermeasure antenna was seen on the front of the canard on the B version prototype 1035. The vertical fin tip was redesigned in the B version. The long compartment houses the communication and electronic countermeasure, and it is similar to the French Mirage 2000. In addition, the rear-facing missile approach warning sensor can be seen under the parachute boom. However, this was not the case in some of the early units of the B version. It should be noted that a similar missile approach warning system was also tested on JF-17. There are reports of radar absorbing material being used to reduce the radar cross-section in the engine inlet and on the wing leading edges on the J-10B version. In the B version, all these improvements show that it has been adapted to the new generation of integrated electronic systems that are connected to the high-speed data bus. The mission of the aircraft was also changed from air superiority to an aircraft, equipped with multi-role close air support and electronic warfare systems. The J-10B in air superiority mission can normally carry six air-to-air -air missiles, including four PL-12s and two PL-8s or PL-10s. It should be noted that four PL-12 missiles are carried on the dual launch rail. However, it is not yet clear whether the B version can carry PL-15 long-range air-to-air missiles. In close air support missions, it can carry two AGM, 88A air-to-ground missiles or two G-500 laser-guided bombs or two new G, 500B 500KG LGB bombs. Two YJ-91 anti-radiation missiles can also be carried in the suppression of enemy air defense role. The B version can be carried the laser designator pods DC-01A and KRKL-700A electronic countermeasure under the engine inlet, which enhances its electronic warfare capability. The J-10B is considered the equivalent of the US F-16 Block 60. The local WS-10B turbofan engine was tested on prototype 1035 in 2011. In March 2013, an electronic countermeasure antenna on the prototype 1031 was installed on the Cairn 4 plant, which had previously been installed on 1035. Serial production of J-10B finally started in 2013. Deliveries of the J-10B began in 2014. Meanwhile, the development of its upgraded variant J-10C with ESA radar has started which we will talk about later. In the images that surfaced in September 2015, two units of Batch 1 J-10B aircraft were powered by a local WS-10B engine, from which it is deduced that this engine is now ready to power the remaining batches of J-10C. The J-10B was unveiled at the official Zhuhai Air Show 2016 in which it was carried a dual PL-12 missile on dual launch rails. In December 2017, the WS-10B-3 turbofan engine tested on the J-10B prototype 1034 was equipped with a stealth thrust vectoring control nozzle. Rumors surfaced in June 2013 that there was a full standard model, the J-10C under development, to which fifth-generation electronics, such as ESA radar, the enhanced cockpit would be added. The J-10C took its first flight on December 31, 2013, using a Russian-made AL-31 F-Series 3 engine. The J-10C was official unveiled in August 2017 at the 90th anniversary parade of the People's Liberation Army. Images unveiled in November 2017 showed the S-740 missile approach warning sensors on the J-10C on both sides of the engine air intake and on the tip of the vertical fin that had been developed for the new J-10C. According to information released in July 2019, the J-10C was powered by the WS-10B local turbofan engine and was used on Batch 4 aircraft. However, the TVC nozzle was not used. Later, according to the reports of December 2019 and June 2021, Batch 5 and 6 of J-10C were powered by the WS-10B engine and production was going on. J-10C pilots are using new helmet-mounted display systems, similar to the US-made joint helmet-mounted queuing system. This will allow the HOBS capability of the PL-10 air-to-air -air missile to be utilized at the optimum level. As for the J-10C's weapons, it has the capability to carry four latest PL-15 long-range air-to-air -air missiles in the air-to-air -air configuration, or two PL-12 high-off-foresight missiles in addition to the four PL-12s. 
In the air-to-ground configuration, the J-10C can be equipped with a supersonic ramjet-powered YJ-91 anti-radiation missile with a range of 100 km. The JG-500 laser-guided bomb can fire in KD-88A in the anti-ship role. Its range is 180 km. The aversion of this missile uses an infrared seeker, although it looks similar to the YJ-83K in terms of range and size. There are reports that the new long-range KD-88C version has joined the service of the Chinese Air Force. The second anti-ship missile is the YJ-83K with a range of 180 km. Two new long-range versions of this missile have also been added to the Chinese Air Force with a new seeker and better anti-jamming capability. The range of the new version is said to be 290 km. In addition to these J-10C missiles, it can carry two pods of KL-700A electronic countermeasure and KJDC-01A laser designation pods under engine air intake. The J-10C's initial batch production units were powered by Russian engines, which provided 27,500 pounds or 122 kilonewton thrust. However, some sources quote the thrust of the version installed on the J-10 as 127 kilonewtons. Subsequent production units are powered by China's native WS-10B engine, which delivers 31,000 pounds or 137.8 kilonewton thrust. The thrust-to-weight ratio of this aircraft is already much better in the league of single-engine aircraft than the Russian engine. But with the WS-10B engine, this thrust-to-weight ratio is even better. At the same time, the engine is certainly capable of providing power to other systems, including its radar at optimum level. It may be recalled that according to reports coming out in March 2021, China's heavy twin-engine J-16 aircraft has been powered by a WS-10B engine, which reflects the capability of the engine and the confidence of the Chinese Air Force in it. The J-10C is equipped with the KLJX Active Electronic Scan Array radar of the Nanjing Research Institute of Electronics Technology. This radar has 1,200 transmit and receive modules. Well, let's add another thing. There are 1,000 TRM on the radar of JF-17 Block 3, while there are 838 transmission receiver modules on the RBEE-2 radar of Raphael. No more details are available on J-10C's radar. According to unofficial reports released in November 2021, a Chinese company has developed a prototype of J-10D. In addition, there are expectations that it will take the first flight in 2022. But keep in mind that this information has come from unconfirmed and unverified sources. Although the B and C versions of J-10 look the same, but after listening to this segment, you will be able to recognize both the B and C versions. There are basically three differences between J-10 B and C, one internal and two external. First, the C version used ESA radar, but there are reports that the B version has been upgraded. The J-10 C has an extra data link antenna, which can be seen near the vertical fin on the spine. This antenna is probably used for the mid-course update of the PL-15 air-to-air missile. The second difference on the J-10C is the S-740 missile approach warning system on both sides of the engine air intake and on the tip of the vertical fin, so you can tell by looking at both versions of the missile approach warning system on both sides of the engine air intake and on the tip of the vertical fin. So you can tell by looking at the missile approach warning system in front of both sides of the engine intake and three antennas on the spine, that is J-10C. On the spine of J-10B, Two antennas and a missile approach warning system can be seen on the tail section. The J-10CS acquired by the Pakistan Air Force is powered by the Chinese local engine WS-10B. For one thing, it does not have any Russian strings attached, while it is said to be better than the Russian engine in terms of power. Then Pakistan is in a position to set up this engine overhaul and repair and maintenance facility soon with the help of China. All in all, J-10C has a better range and better weapon payload capacity than Block 3 due to better radar, more powerful engine and medium-weight aircraft. The accompanying weapon package also looks better than Block 3. 
Future's underdeveloped air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons will also make integration and acquisition perspectives readily available and usable on J-10C. It is quite possible that Pakistan will acquire a large number of these aircraft from China, and there are also opportunities to manufacture them locally under TOT. However, keep in mind that the JF-17 is a lightweight aircraft, and it is playing its role well. We hope you enjoyed this detailed video on J-10 and had the opportunity to learn a lot of new information. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to receive timely notifications of each new video.